Hey YouTube, this is IBA, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my top 7 favorite city of tweaks for iPhone and iPod Touch. So I'm not going to be doing any of these in order of preference, just as they come up to the top of my head. Uh, so the first one I would just say is 3D board, and uh, basically just makes the icons look like they are 3D. I don't know if you can really tell there, if you look at the icons, I can go into settings, and then go down to 3D board and make it more intense which I'll do now and you can see that it is a little bit more intense maybe if I turn on the brightness it might be a little bit better there we go so you can see that the icons are kind of 3D alright and I'm not going to be showing you guys how to get any of these just you can find your own repos to get them either free or get them from the developer um, something like 3D board that's something you're going to want to buy from the developer because he did a really good job in figuring out how to get something to be like 3D on a 2D device. Alright, and this next one is going to be sleep effects. As you can see, it did a cool little sleep effect right there. That was the TV tube one. If you go into settings and you go down to sleep effects, uh, you can change the effect. We'll do uh, split columns, which didn't really do much. Uh, let's try page curl, which for some reason on the uh, Verizon iPhone 4, they don't work all of the time. Uh, but I know for a fact they work on the iPod Touch, I just don't have it downloaded for that yet. Alright, uh, the next one is going to be barrel. And barrel is just like the way that your icons move when you move them like side to side your pages. As you can see, they curl and roll away, and that is the one that I have it on now. Uh, if I go into Barrel and Settings, you can do many other things. We'll do Stairs Left, and we'll see what that does. And it looks like they go down, like they go back into like um, in an area back here. And they just look really cool. And then they can come towards you like that. So it almost kind of gives it a 3D effect on some things, especially like this cube one. Like It looks like you're on the outside of a cube, like that, and that just looks really, really cool. Um, my next one is going to be Barrel 2, and that I have installed on my iPod Touch. Basically, it is some additions to Barrel, and uh, this one I have it as Fall Left and they just seem to like fall off the page the icons when you switch pages see how they fall so that's uh... one of them will do ripple these are just some of the new ones all the other ones are kind of the same as you can see they ripple right there it is a little bit laggy on the ipod touch but i think on the iphone it's much better so this one's pretty cool too the vortex one i'm gonna leave that one on i like that one alright so that's barrel two uh, the next one is going to be Fake Clock Up, and basically it speeds up the UI on your device and makes it look like it's faster, but it's really not. Um, let me just show you guys a really, really, well, you guys know what normal is, obviously, if you guys have it. Let me do half speed. Actually, no, I'm going to go really slow. I'm going to go one-sixth, and you do have to respring after each one. But basically, this does not speed up your megabytes. It just does like the gigahertz that are in your processor and uh, the UI images and how everything opens. So if I'm going to slide here, you can see how slow it comes back. And this is just a mod you can do. And it's uh, kind of cool to show people uh, the slow way. But if you want to go really, really fast, we'll go up to 5. And we'll try and respring even though it's going to be really slow. Alright, so we'll respring here. Alright, so we'll go ahead and slide here, and you're going to see probably a significant difference. Watch when I tap settings how fast it's going to come up. Although I do have a loader, but let me just go, like if you just tap in all these things, you can see how quick it switches all the pages. And it just makes the UI a little bit faster. It does not make any megabytes faster. Alright, um, one other one that I like for the iPhone which is my next tweak is keep text new so basically I'm just going to send myself a text message here and you guys can see what I'm talking about I'm just going to say hello and I'm going to click send and I'm just going to go to the normal springboard here and I'm just going to wait for it to come through 
Okay, so here it is. And as you can see, you have these little green, uh, like, SMS icons right there with a little one on top. If you just click close normally on your iPhone, if you don't have this app, um, it will just, like, close and you won't get the number one or number two above your messages app. But if you tap on this green one, they'll go faded and you can click close and it'll still be there for you to open and then read. So uh, I really like that for iPhone uh, because let's say you just get a text and you click close and you didn't really want to read the whole thing and you forget to go back, then you're never going to know you had that one. Alright, and my last little city of tweak slash app is called Backboard and it just allows you to save a uh, backup of your springboard or any themes that you have and you can just name them like I have one as stock and uh, one just a random one here and let me just install it and show you guys what it does you just click install and then click confirm I'm not sure if I did, oh yeah it says working down here so it's complete and it just wants you to respring so I'm just going to respring really quick and we can just see what it looks like alright so I'm slide to unlock and it remembered where I had my icons from a previous theme that I had and uh, it required me to put my icons like this and it just it looked better than obviously it does right now but if you go back into um, backboard you can go back to one that I have named as stock click confirm and you can see that it will change so it just has to do a little working and then you click respring and then it'll just come back alright and slide to unlock and there they are they're back to normal alright so hope you guys liked these seven tweaks that I like for my iPhone and iPod touch if you guys have any questions just comment down below I will have um, a video linked down uh, in the description beside each of these if I do have a video for it um, sleep effects I think is the only one I don't have a video for and backboard uh, other than that, I have a video for every single one so you can see how they work and how to get them. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page. The links will be down below. And uh, in the future, I'll have many more videos like this whenever you know there's a good bit more cool tweaks that come out. Uh, but right now, these are just ones that I want to share with you guys because they're ones, you know, if I had to read Jailbreak or something on a different device, these are ones I would search for and get right away because they just make your iPhone so unique and just looks so cool. Um, keep in mind some of these do work for iPad uh, but I don't have an iPad to show you guys which ones do work so you can just search and look up for yourself and uh, just go and have fun with these alright? So this is IBA and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.